Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. I am using a lot of Pat McGrath Labs products. If you guys don't know about her, Pat is an amazing makeup artist. I actually took a masterclass from her online and she had a giveaway and I actually won the giveaway. So she sent over some really awesome products. I already had a lot of Pat stuff before I took the I have class. not checked her out. Make sure you guys definitely check her out. Um, this look was featuring her Mothership. I think it's the 7th or 8th. I'll leave it down below. But this palette, very beautiful, colorful look. I definitely will rock this going out with my girls or even on date night. And let me show you guys what the palette looks like. Very sleek packaging. Excuse my handprints on it. It comes with 10 beautiful shades, like very pigmented, like pigmented. So yeah, if you guys wanna see how I achieved this look, then make sure you guys stay tuned. And before you go, you already know why because i say this in every video make sure you guys thumbs up this video show me some love let's chat down in the comments you section. guys hit that subscribe button and until next time bye guys all right guys let's get into this slay so i have already done my brows off camera i am using the mothership h divine rose 2 palette today this palette is so bomb 10 beautiful shades i'm going to take naked blush first and i'm going to put that into my crease this is going to be my transition color and i'm just going in windshield wiper motion Hey Logan. Next I'm taking Extreme Burgundy on my outer corner and I'm gonna blend that on into my crease too. It is such a beautiful, like deep, plummy color. I know plummy isn't a word, but it will be today. Okay. <laughs> These shades are so pigmented, you guys. Like I'm so serious. A little bit goes a long way. And I'm just blending both colors into my crease. So as you guys can see. Next, I'm gonna take Eleganza and I'm gonna apply that onto my lid. And this is just pretty much like a frosty lilac color. And I'm just going back in with that extreme burgundy just to kind of blend out those edges. Next, I'm gonna take Sex Terrestrial. And this is pretty much like a duochrome shadow. It is so pretty. Like, it is so pretty. Look at it. Like, depending on what you put apply up under it will be like the bomb color that's on top of it. And I didn't show it here, but I'm actually taking a little bit of Rose Seduction. This is like a pretty hot pink shimmery color. And I just took just a smidge of that and applied it on top. Next, I'm going in with my liner. I am using my Inglot 77 Black Liner. And I do like to kind of pull my eyes a little taunt to go across with my liner. Next, I'm going in with some lashes. These will probably be a part of my upcoming lash line. Taking my Duo Lash Glue. And just applying my lashes.
these lashes are so pretty, so wispy. Check these eyes out. Next, I'm taking my Skin Finish Sublime Perfection Primer. This smells so good. I love how this blurs out the skin. And this is by Pat McGrath as well. Next, I'm taking my foundation. I'm in the shade 26. As I've told you guys before, I absolutely love this foundation. It gives such a skin-like look without being so cakey. And I'm just taking my dual fiber brush. Now I am taking her concealer and this is in the shade 23. This is still Pat's line as well. I couldn't find my other brush, so you know what? We're gonna make it work with my foundation brush. Just wait till you see the results using the same brush. And right here, I just took a little bit of my Fenty setting powder in honey just to kind of set it, but I'm gonna brighten it up a little bit more. Next, I'm using the Skin Fetish Sublime Blurring Under Eye Powder in Deep. This powder is amazing. Like it literally blurs any of those fine lines up under my eyes. And I'm going to take a little bit of Skin Show Rose Opal in Astral Pink Moon. And I'm going to put both of those into my inner corners. But first, right here, I just took Extreme Burgundy and I'm putting that on my lower lash line. And I took Max Costa Reach Eye Coal and I put that into my waterline. It's just a pretty deep brown. Next, I'm gonna apply my mascara. And I'm taking my Fenty Beauty's Chocolate, no, I'm sorry, Coco Naughty Bronzer first. And then I'm gonna take Mocha Mommy right on top of that, just to kind of give a little bit more definition to my face. Y'all see it. Snatch chair, yes. Next, I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty's Rose Latte Cream Blush. This blush is so, so pretty. It gives that perfect flush to the cheeks. And I'm taking it with this fluffy dome brush and I'm just going to buff it back into the skin. Next, I am taking her highlight duo and this is in the shade bronze. This is Skin Fetish Highlighter Balm Duo in bronze. And I'm just gonna take that bronze. And, yeah, sis, do you, do you see it? So pretty. It's just a cream highlighter. Put a little bit of it on my nose. And I'm taking bronze rose and I'm gonna apply that right on top. Do you see me beaming? Do you see me beaming? Do you see me beaming? A little bit of that on my nose as well and like I said earlier I am taking 
the skin show rose opal and the astral pink moon and i'm gonna apply those to my inner corners just add a little bit more pop and i'm taking her lip balm just to add a little bit of moisture to my lips they were a little on the dry side taking my ColourPop's BBF3 lip liner. You guys know this is one of my favorite Chocolate Girl lip liners. Anyone can use this lip liner, but it's so pretty. And I'm taking my Pat McGrath's Peach Perversion Lust Lip Gloss. This gloss is so pretty. And yeah, here's the final look, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time. Bye.